hear me? Yeah, can you please respond to me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you yes, so much. Yeah. So now, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Whatever algorithm I have given to you. Mm. in the years okay are you hearing any noise hmm? are you hearing any noise Light is burnt. Not much, ma'am. Slightly there, there is a background. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll just do the cascade arrangement so that easily you can, you know. How you can copy. remove everything whatever extra is there so all four is not required and go go and close it I don't know why it's um, scrolling like this. Okay, this is a one algorithm what it is given to you. We look at here the same algorithm it can be implemented directly in the program. Okay, so very simple now. Uh, Africa, so you look at here. Yeah, so here you need not have to pass the any array elements here. Without passing the parameter, we are working on a C program here. Okay, initially you have to set i equal to n minus 1, i less than or equal to k. That is, k is the position where you are required to insert the element. Okay, move j, instead of j element, what I need to make it here? What change I have to make? i element downward. Okay, ai plus 1 equal to ai. Then i equal to i minus 1. Then, so you are moving i element towards down. How long till you get that position? In that position, k position, you can insert the item that is what the algorithm is that we have traced. 
same algorithm because when I discussed in the class, uh, there in the textbook, array index starts from one here zero. So that's why entire algorithm I have changed so that whatever algorithm I'm, I'm discussing, same as it is, you can in, implement here for the lab. Okay. Yeah. So Karthik, is that fine? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So now look at here. Um, I'll just go through this um, uh, program here, what it's uh, being written. So you can check it whether it's according to that only or not. Okay. So what is the function called here? Oh, no. Insert. Oh, no. I saw no. Insert is the function here. Oh, no. So here, what we are required to do is look at here the same thing here so instead of setting the i equal to n minus one anyway in the for loop you can initialize i to n minus one and you have to like move towards downwards how you can move towards downwards same thing there we are saying set a i plus one equal to a i inside the for loop you just make it a i plus equal to a i and then every iteration you have to decrement the i value same as it is i have implemented in the uh, program a k equal to i term okay then you have inserted one element into the array so increment the n value then display call the display function yeah you got the idea now if i have given the algorithm straight away you can you can implement in the programming language but here also it's like yeah. if you give a function you can directly call it uh, is that like that one no 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 what i'm trying to say is uh, from here onwards i'll give you the algorithm okay not the code directly in the class i'll discuss how to uh, write the operations different operations for data structure like this algorithm i'll give you i'm telling you how you can implement in the program look at here delete okay, is a function in, in, yeah. this, in this program in this algorithm i'm passing the parameter but i said first program without passing the parameter i said you do the, this okay so for that reason k is the index i'm using the index not the position okay now enter the index you need to accept in the function itself index so here which of uh, position what i have to replace with yeah k okay. isn't it look at here algorithm also i have changed accordingly because That's you fine. people were getting confused it was one to n now i have changed to zero to n minus one so now what I require to do, I have to set item equal to AK. The deleted item is, is equal to, straight away I'm displaying what I'm going to delete. Okay, that is nothing but position of minus one. Here, what I'm doing is, instead of accepting the position, straight away I'm accepting the index itself. So here, what is the index? K, right. Yes, now I equal can. to? Yeah, I equal to what? As it is, you can implement now. I equal to what here? How do you vary here? K to n minus one. So initial I value is what? Is this A. Look at the algorithm here. What's the initial value of I? K. K, K, ma'am. K. Yeah. So K to how long you are required to do this? 
n minus so 1. you are equal to n minus 2 times okay so less than n minus 1 if i write it is it okay yeah yeah fast you have to reply to me is karthik yes ma'am yes ma'am so instead of less than or equal to n minus 1 what i have written is less than n minus 1 and n here minus. it's you are equal to increment the i value right that is being written here okay then how do you what we are saying is set a of i equal to a i plus 1 the same thing is being written here okay now is it not very easy to implement now if the correct algorithm is given to you nothing is there in that right straight away you can implement then how many elements will be there in the array now when you have deleted one element one element you have to make it less so n minus minus one yes sir n minus minus or otherwise n equal to n minus one then display the array elements similarly here also it's being implemented uh, linear search how to in, in, uh, implement a linear search this is how So key it's being given and then and position okay so position is what where you found the element is the position and the key is you are searching for that element in the array with index 0 to n minus 1 the same thing as it is I have implemented here Instead of this, what I'll do is instead of uh, doing like this, repeat while loop only will use while a i not equal to key like that only we'll do. So what I have to initialize now first a of can you tell me a of n equal to what is it key? Look at here. You have to tell me the answers. Then yes, here Insert instead of uh, array element varies from where to where? 0 to n minus 1. So what change I have to make in the algorithm in order to customize to C code? Yeah. Instead of in the algorithm, what change yes, I, I need to do here? Yes. Means in Marika, a 0 to n minus 1 elements are error. A and L key store with that. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Please be active in the class. Okay, I'll not tell the answer. You only have to tell me what I need to write in the next step. Okay, looking at this algorithm. Okay. So what we are doing is we are taking the condition a i not equal to key. Sorry, it's broken. Wait. So the same thing how I can implement here a i not equal to key. So why? Yeah, can you please tell me the condition? Why? Can I write as it is? Not equal to here small letter, that's all. Right? So every iteration, what I need to do? Do I require to increment the i value? Yes, ma'am. Anyone? Yeah. So please tell me what I need to do. I, I equal to uh, you haven't initialized the i value. Yeah, I have not initialized the i-value. Very good. Thank you so much. That is most important thing without initializing. Then we can start with some jink value. Then again, it will go infinite loop. Very good. Good observation. Yeah. Next, is this for loop is required now? It's not required, right? No. Do one thing. I just uh, selection how to delete the selection. Hmm? 
edit now. Click on that edit and uh, and there is delete so clear. Yeah. Okay. Initially, with what value position is initialized with minus one, right? If position equal to minus one, unsuccessful search. Otherwise, it's a successful search. Okay. So now, if the correct algorithm is given to you, is it not very easy to implement the algorithm directly? Yeah. Can you do like that? Next class onwards. Yes. Can we run this program now? How many elements? I just do the insertion operation. The uh, position is say third position, sorry, third index. Now we have changed to index K. It's not position. Third, third index means where it, it is going to insert. After, after 30. 30 after 30 after or after 30? After 30? No. Yes, ma'am. Because 10 is uh, in array, it's 0, 1, 2. So it's after 30. Yeah. OK. So 35 is insert. Okay. Is that right? What the algorithm, what we have written is, am I inserting in the third index only? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Look, at this is what we have done. Next is. Deletion will try. Okay, so that also I do it in third index only. Okay, yeah. After deleting, am I getting back the same element what I have created? What what the element uh, array I have uh, started created? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Next, search for a key. Okay, so which one will search? So I'll search for fifteen. Okay, unsuccessful search. Look at beautiful here. So why we are getting unsuccessful search here? Hmm? Well, we have to give the array. No, no, no. Yeah, so we we'll trace it now. So if you get like this error, it's uh, good. You feel happy about it. I said always uh, better to get the error. So can you please tell me, in here, what we are saying is position we are saying, right? Instead of position, so am I using position anywhere here? Am I using position anywhere here? Hmm? No, ma'am, only the key element. Yeah. What additional statement I have to incur right here? If that is the case, okay, every time, uh, like wh what is the position you have to return now? How do you initialize the position? Okay, instead of position, it's better to use if i equal to what condition I have to check, please tell me. If this is the way I have to do. sufficient look at here i equal to n so when it will come out of the loop when it will come out of the loop yeah please one of you answer when the control will come out of the loop 
when it matches with the key. Assume that 0 to n minus 1, if the key is not there, it because explicitly we are storing the key in nth index. So obviously, if it is unsuccessful search, what is the i value? The last Jarkic. value will be i value. Yeah, n, n, isn't it? Is it not n? If the index is equal to n, can I say it is unsuccessful search? Yes, yeah. Yes, so otherwise, otherwise, yeah. So which is the index now? Where you have found? You have found in i index. Okay. Since we are, we wanted to return the position. In case if you want to return the position, then here what I have to do? I. I plus? Yeah. One. Isn't it? I plus one. Okay. So now let us check whether what I have written is right or not, working fine or not. Okay. So means get uh, when you are working up with the program, if you get more number of errors, please feel happy about it and try to debug. With that, you can learn many things. Okay. So let me enter of 5, 10, 20, 30. Okay. So I'll do the insertion now. So can you please tell me the other position? Says the nine position, we'll say. Is it correct, nine position? No, there is no, no invalid. Okay. So I am trying to ask once again. Enter k between 0 to 5. Okay. So now um, I'll give the key uh, index value equal to now. What I can give now? 0 to 0 to 5 or 0 to 4. I could have used 0 to 4, right? Because there are totally n minus 1. That is n 0 to Zero Sorry. to four, ma'am. Five also I can give, right? Hmm? Ah, yes, ma'am. Next position, I don't. Yeah. Is it correct now? Is it, yes, is it correct? Mm. Okay. Next. Second option. What I delete now is first index element. Okay. Is that right after deleting twenty? Okay, how am I getting the correct array elements? 10, yes, 30. Yeah. Okay. Now, third option. I'm <clears throat> searching for again 19. Okay. So, am I searching it correctly? I'm displaying the index at position and the clear account. Okay. So, that clarity will be there. Is it index or position? Clarity is not there. Okay. So now fourth one, again, you can display the contents of the array. We have done all the options correctly. Okay. So next class onwards, this is how I'm going to do. Okay. Now in the same program, okay, if you want to use binary search also, okay, if you want to search for the element, you can do the searching in two ways. What are the two ways? One is linear search, other one is binary search. Okay, so when I give the option binary search, sorry, search option, it should again ask one more menu, is it linear search or binary search? From that, you could be able to choose the option. Okay, based on the option you are going to give, you are required to invoke the function. Here, anyway, what input I'm giving here is in ascending order. But all the time, are you going to going to give the elements in ascending order? No, ma'am. Yeah? No. So you have to sort. When you want to apply this binary search algorithm, again, you have to sort the array elements. For that, you have to invoke one more function. So the program will become very lengthy. So instead of writing lengthy program, I'll just demonstrate how you can include one more file. Okay, in another file, you can write the uh, like functionality for finding the uh, or sorting the array elements that you can write in another file, or otherwise, you can uh, sorting or searching can be written in 
another file. So one simple example I'll demonstrate here is look at here. So finding factorial of a number. Okay. And include just like that this factorial of a number. Because already the program is very lengthy. I don't want to write the code or function here itself. Instead of writing the function here itself, what I'll do is I'll write the function in some other file. Okay. This file I'll call it. I'll include in the header file. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see now how uh, you can do that. Ma'am, you are on mute, ma'am. 